I'm just going to be doing a quick, simple look over of all my puzzles. It's going to be pretty quick. And I think it would be best if I did it now instead of later. Uh, I'm going to start off with my 3x3s. Three uh, I'm just going to go here. Uh, so, I have... This is the first puzzle that I have actually ever played with, and I had it since about a year ago, but after like a month or two, well more like two or three months later, I learned how to solve it. it um, I've used a lot of lubricant on it, and it's actually a really good puzzle for a Rubik's brand. Uh, this is my Xanji, but, well... A piece popped, and I don't know where it is, so I'll probably search for it later. It's a good puzzle, though. And this one, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think that it's a Cyclone Boys, but it's just probably most likely a knockoff. And, uh, uh it's my main. Yeah, I mean, the Zanshi would be my main if... I didn't, if I hadn't lost that piece, but currently, right now, it is my main, and I like it a lot. Uh, I already did a video about these picture cubes, but uh, I didn't solve them. I I don't have them solved because I was going to solve them, but I just didn't have the motivation to do it. Now this one's a Hello Kitty picture cube, and then this one's a Christmas-themed picture cube. Since they're both dollar store cubes, they turn pretty badly, but... They're fun. And here I have a V Cube 3. Uh, I got it at Barnes & Noble. And it turns really good. It has pretty good corner cutting. But reverse corner cutting is kind of non-universal. I it, it just doesn't exist. And I'm pretty sure that that wraps it up for the 3x3s. At least the normal ish through right threes. Uh, I have two void cubes. Uh, they're the Rubik's brand void cubes. Uh, I got them at Christmas, and I've thought of doing the chain mod on them, but it just doesn't seem like it would be worth it. Probably when I have get another void cube. Uh, uh, then this is my V cube four. It's my main four by four, because well, it's my only four by four. It's what I learned to solve on, and it's a really good puzzle. Uh, I don't really average on four by four or solve times um, time my solves on four by four much anymore. But you know, it's good to have. Uh, here's my treasure chest cube. It used to just be in a pile of pieces, but recently I got some super glue to fix it up. It can't turn. I, my idea is I just rip the core out and then uh, super glue all the pieces together to make a lid and then the box. It can't really hold much, if anything, but it's a cool novelty. Uh, here's my V Cube 7. Uh, I've attempted three mods on it. Uh, one of them I did a video about, but, uh, the, the most recent one didn't do much. Uh, I did one off camera. Though with breaking it in and whatnot, I'm thinking of ordering tiles for it. Super bright. I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure that clears it up. And then here we have, uh, my Ghost Hand 2x2. It's the only 2x2 I've ever owned or played with. And, well, and quite obviously it's my main. Uh, there's not, no, there's not much to explain about it. I, it's a 2 by 2 It's a good one, though. Oh, and here's my gear ball. It's actually a quite easy puzzle to solve. Uh, Red KB once said in his videos that when you scramble it, uh, it can actually be very easy. It's 
so then you can purpose so then you'd purposely make it hard. Uh, it turns really good though. And I got it at Barnes and Noble, and it's a fun puzzle to just play around with and show non cubers. And here's my Swinese cube. Oh, like the treasure just cube, it was in pieces, but I reassembled it, and uh, I was just made out of two dollar store cubes, and uh, just like any other Siamese cube, I didn't do anything special about it. Uh, it has the eighty, the eighty color scheme though, and uh, when I put them together, I only had the white and the orange side um, connected, so uh, like. In sync, kind of. So, like right here, you have the blue and the red, even though it should be red and red. It was a pretty silly mistake, but wasn't that bad. It's a fun puzzle, though. And I think that this is the last in my in this collection. But uh, this is a brain twist. Uh, the way it works is that you can twist it by the corners, quite obviously. Uh, but it took me a while to like, a day or two after I got the puzzle, um, uh, that I could figure out that I could do that, and then twist around. It has a weird parody, probably, because it has a void cubish, uh, state to it. But it's definitely in my top ten puzzles list. I'm pretty sure that that clears it up for the collection. If I missed any, I'll leave a comment if you know. And V cube 7. It will. Oh, whoops. It will grow, and uh, it's probably not much right now, but. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, and if you want to be notified of future videos, hit the subscribe button. Bye.